there is nothing that secures life like blood. Do you remember when God asked Samuel to go to the house of Jesse to anoint a king? And Saul said, and Samuel said, Lord, you want to kill me? If Saul hears that I am going to anoint a king and he is alive, he will kill me. And God said, take a baby and Haifa, the baby of a ram, and go there and say you have come to offer sacrifice. And in the midst of the sacrifice, anoint the king. Originally I was saying, ah, was God telling him to lie? No. Until the Holy Ghost showed me, no. God was giving him a preservation strategy. That ram that was killed will take his place in death. Even if Saul wanted to kill him, the death cancels by the time that blood was shed. That was what happened in the time of Joseph too. Let's kill him. Let's sell him. Then let's kill a baby goat. And dip his cloth inside the blood of it. They, and they, they tied his life very well. They secured him. They identified his blood. The blood of that goat with his life. Genesis 37, 21. Sorry, Genesis 37, 31. And they took Joseph's coat and killed the kid of the goats and dipped the in the blood. And they sent the coat of many colors and they brought it to their father and said, this have we found. Know now whether it be your son's coat or not. They thought they were doing wayo. They never knew that in their wayorism they preserve the life of the boy that whatever will kill him in Egypt will never rise provided now that the blood has been shed and that blood has even soaked his cloth Joseph congratulations they have killed the lamb in your place <laughs> You will live. No matter what Pharaoh does. No matter what Potiphar's wife does. Something took your place in death. But do you understand that that was what Jesus did for us on the cross of Calvary? In the book of Hebrews chapter 2 and in verse 9. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 9. But we see Jesus who was made a little lower than the angels. For the suffering of death crowned with glory and honor. That by the grace of God. He should taste death for every man. The death you should have died before time, he died it. You know, he didn't die a peaceful death. He died a violent death. Death where blood was coming from hand and head and everywhere. Death where he struggled on the cross until he said it is finished and gave up the ghost. That excuses you from aggressive deaths. Excuses you from every form of violent death. And death in any form. By the speakings of the blood of Jesus. It's not just to take the communion. But the revelation with you, which you take it. The faith with which you take it. And so tonight. I speak upon this communion. This is your Communion of exchange. 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 There is something we call exchange blood transfusion. EBT. When a newborn baby is born. I think they do it even in some adults. Where the blood is perverted and corrupted. Maybe it's jaundice. The eyes are yellow. Everything. They try to drain all the blood out and introduce fresh blood that is not contaminated. That was what Jesus did for us. He introduced his blood so that our own blood that is corrupt and cannot save us can now become our deliverance. I speak 
upon this communion in the name of the father and if you have your communion point of contact you lift them up we are in the days where you take the communion before you go out in the morning you can take it before you sleep if possible anoint your forehead on your way out of your house on your way to that journey on your way to that trip I knew of a man who was applying the anointing oil like cream on his body a soldier man who was fighting in the northeast and the enemy could never have him I prophesy on this preservation power of the blood of Jesus like Joseph was preserved by the blood of a lamb and David uh, and, and Samuel was preserved by the blood of an hypha I declare that this blood the blood of Jesus the superior blood will preserve you from every agenda of death every agenda of killing every agenda of suicide every agenda every agenda every agenda of terrorists every agenda of the bond woman every agenda of kidnappers every agenda of armed robbers in or of hired killers of ritual killers in the name of Jesus by your blood oh Lord by your blood receive it and tonight every deposit of sickness in your body HIV sickle cell anemia hepatitis every form of cancer diabetes whatever it is that my father in heaven has not planted in your body i declare them flushed out now by the blood of jesus i call it done in jesus name go ahead and take the communion excitedly by your blood oh lord 